Hey you guys, so we are just hanging out in the living room. I'm honestly counting down the minutes till the sun sets so we can start to deck the halls. We're gonna decorate our Christmas tree tonight, which I am so excited for here in our new house. Max fell asleep on the couch. Honestly, we are getting a breath of fresh air, of peace and calm and quiet right now. It's been a hectic, crazy day and couple of days to be honest and isn't it funny how the holidays always seem to be filled with such high highs, but also such low lows. So much good food, family fun, friends, festivities, all the Fs, but at the same time, like there is loneliness, there's stress, there's overeating, overspending, all of these things that make it so difficult to navigate. How can I have fun while also having all of this rattling in the back of my monkey mind. So we're gonna hopefully help you guys today because we have been plant-based for eight years now, navigating the food side of the stressful situations. And we've also been navigating the happiness and mental health space too. So with that being said, we're gonna start this video by sharing our favorite Thanksgiving dishes and then some of our common hurts and hangups that come around the holidays and how to navigate with some simple solutions. I know a lot of you have been waiting on pins and needles to hear who won the $500 Vitamix giveaway that we did last weekend with our friend Tia. So you can check the description below and if your name is there, then congratulations. If not, we have another super, super exciting announcement along with a better giveaway this week. So the plant-based bundle is back, but only for a limited time. If you guys aren't familiar with it, the plant-based bundle is essentially a compilation of all of us vegan creators, health coaches, influencers, dietitians, all of our latest and greatest content compiled into one giant bundle. It's only $50 for over 200 eBooks, courses, guides, meal plans, weight loss guides, and more. This offer only comes around one, sometimes two times a year, and it's bigger and better than ever right now. It's also ripe with tons of plant-based holiday recipes and eBooks. And the best part is if you purchase the bundle through our link below in the description, you'll be automatically entered to win your choice. Either a Nama J2 juicer, our favorite juicer of all time or our favorite blender a $500 Vitamix we personally select it purchase it and ship it right to you as a thank you to all of you guys for being amazing members of the eat move rest fam and to say happy holidays Merry Christmas this season you guys the bundle is insane it's so good the quality of the content is unreal there is so much information so many people to be inspired by and find out about so click the link below so while the holiday season is always the time when we are ramping up our mental health strategies, we're also ramping up our physical health as well. I've been digging through the tea cabinet and supplement cabinet because the kiddos have had the sniffles. Dusty and I have been feeling a little bit drained, like we are overworking ourselves. You guys might be surprised to hear that it has been getting chilly here in Florida in the evenings. So all I want is to cozy up, decorate the tree, watch a Christmas movie, and sip on a hot cup of tea. And I grabbed out my Peak Tea favorites. Peak Tea is my favorite because they have the perfect tea for any ailment or for any mood or occasion. They have tons of herbal options, which I'm not doing caffeine currently, but they also have a great matcha tea. I love that everything is USDA organic and triple screened for ultimate purity. And the cool thing is a lot of their teas are crystal teas rather than dried teas. So they are dehydrated and crystallized. It locks in all of their nutrition. Similar to our cold pressed juices, Peak Tea actually uses what's called a cold extraction technology to maximize phytonutrient potential and absorption. And they don't require any prep or brewing time. You just mix them into your hot or cold beverage and they're good to go. I've also been really loving the Daily Radiance for multiple reasons. Number one, it contains elderberry syrup, so it's amazing for your immune system. It's also great for radiant skin. It also has liposomal vitamin C, which again, during this time of year is something we can all use more of to help us feel our best. Another new favorite of theirs that I'm enjoying is the 
Betox Fountain Beauty Electrolyte. So this is one that I fill my water bottle with as soon as I'm done working out because we get hot and sweaty here during the daytime. Dusty and I are both big tea drinkers. In fact, last night we no joke had two teas each. Last night after dinner we had the Ginger Digestion Elixir. It's one of my favorites of their herbal teas. I also really love the spearmint and the hibiscus is amazing for radiant skin and these are all super calming and de-stressing types of teas that are just so warming and perfect, especially for this time of year. If you guys are interested in trying any of their amazing products, I highly, highly recommend checking out the Daily Radiance and their herbal tea lineup. You can use the discount code linked below. Now that we're feeling a little bit more calm, cool, and collected, let's get right into our Thanksgiving menu and share some of our favorites. So our top three favorite holiday recipes that are like hearty family staples are number one, our mashed potatoes. You guys, these are so easy and unreal delicious. We top it with an even easier gravy that doesn't include mushrooms. So, so delicious. Number two is probably our sweet potato stuffing. Again, we have sweet potatoes, chop some celery, all the herbs, spices, and some Ezekiel bread stuffing, which is so delicious, but so, so healthy. Number three is our signature dish. If you ask my family, grandma always requests the beets and sweets casserole bake. So we fancy it up a little bit for the holidays with some carrots, throw some Brussels sprouts in there with a sprig of rosemary on top, cover it in the oven, throw it in. It's so easy and once again, so delicious. So yes, those three are our core staples. And then we'll sandwich it with some delicious salad dishes and some sweets and treats for dessert. So my favorite two salads, I'm looking through the meal planner, by the way, if you're wondering why I have my phone out and making a list for our family's Thanksgiving. So there are two salads that I like to start with. This one is a little bit lighter. It's the citrus walnut spinach salad. And usually I'll top it with some berries and maybe some pomegranates. It's so beautiful and light. And I just honestly use citrus for dressing and everybody asks me what the dressing is and they're so shocked that it's not something super involved. Number two is a little bit more filling and it has quinoa for protein. So this is the butternut squash pomegranate kale quinoa salad. That's a mouthful, pun intended. It's so good. I just made it a couple days ago and I've been enjoying it for lunch each day. It's so delicious. Also love to use quinoa for our quinoa risotto dish. And usually what I'll do with this is add a bunch of nutritional yeast and other seasonings to make a really cheesy risotto-esque dish. And then if you wanna fancy it up a little bit more, you can spoon out the seeds from any type of squash and fill it with the risotto and it makes for a beautiful display. And I had to laugh as I was looking through some of our older videos and we made a plant-based meatloaf. It's a great lentil meatloaf and the video is hilarious. So if you're looking for a laugh, go check that one out. Um, and then for dessert, the three options that I love most are our raw vegan pumpkin pie. You wouldn't even know it's raw vegan, it's so good. Number two, our caramel apple cheesecake bites. I would say these are like, hands down, one of my favorite desserts of all time. And then our baked apple crisp, which also can be really good this time of year to make for breakfast in place of like baked oatmeal. So especially around the holidays, we can tend to self-sabotage. And I know I've done this to myself so many times, especially having a lot of social anxiety. I tend to overeat and just get excited and I forget and I lose track. And before you know it, I go home feeling this sense of like, oh, I did it again. If you guys know what I'm talking about. So we're just gonna run through some typical holiday hangups and some solutions as well. So basically we're keeping it real this video. The last two days for Aaron and I and the kids have been so dramatic. I mean like screaming and crying, pee, everywhere like seriously the kids are peeing on the rugs peeing in bed like oh it's just been absolute chaos and to add to that yes the holidays are rapidly approaching and we now live 1500 miles away from family like our heads are spinning and it's been very difficult so yes while we are planning our work for videos and recipes and all the things we're also having to remind ourselves how to stay like calm and centered through these crazy hectic times. And the one thing that I always remind myself of and keep catching myself doing is breathing. 
So I get DMs from people all the time that are saying, oh, I'm anxious or I'm stressed or I'm depressed. Daylight savings time is just like driving me crazy. And the one thing I tell people, number one, you have to slow down and breathe. I just have to take a deep breath to be able to manage the kids and manage our work and manage the family and holidays and all the things. And then I'm able to recognize how fast all of this is going to fly by. The kids are going to grow up. We're going to miss the pee pants and the pee beds and all the things. So we're going to slow down this evening. We're going to decorate our Christmas tree. We're going to have so much fun and always remembering to breathe slow down through it you guys your breath actually changes your mind it changes your physical state so always remember to breathe honestly the best meditation session that i've had this year was on our costa rica retreat and it was the one that i led so every year i do just a simple 10 minute meditation for the group and seriously like i feel like i get into this zone and when we're done with the meditation, I'm all of a sudden in this like peaceful place where I'm not anxious, my heart's not racing anymore, I'm not scared of what people think of me or what to say next, because I'm, I'm kind of a shy, anxious person. My monkey mind always races, but that 10 minute meditation was like the best. So I'm like, I need to make that video for you guys. So if you want a 10 minute meditation video that's like mind, body, spirit, soul, everything all in one, let me know in the comments and maybe we'll put that together for you guys to help you this holiday season. And while I'm on my phone, I was also looking through and I did this really, really extensive but really good blog post like when we first went plant-based, honestly, because I was trying to help myself. Like, how do I get through the holidays? How do I not self-sabotage? And how do I not overeat and overindulge on sweets and treats? So. I came up with six P's that have really helped us and helped me over the years. Number one is to simply plan ahead. Whether you're going to a restaurant or family gathering, plan ahead, look at the menu in advance or ask what's going to be there in advance. And on that note, pre-eating can be very helpful sometimes. If there aren't going to be a lot of options, we just eat ahead of time and then we can just kind of pick and snack on appetizers and side dishes when we get to wherever we're going. Prepare, I think is another important one. So this, yes, you can do in a very physical sense, but more importantly, mentally. I think it's, it's important to prepare yourself mentally. How am I gonna react or respond in certain situations? Say if you're trying to avoid sugary alcoholic beverages, prepare ahead of time. I know that I'm gonna order my club soda with lime. Nobody will question me. I have my cocktail in hand, um, things like that. Just prepare yourself mentally by visualizing mentally how you're gonna respond in certain stressful situations or uncomfortable situations so you can see yourself succeeding and you'll be more likely to do so. Pack is another important P, so pack your goodies with you. This means maybe you have some things in the car in case you get somewhere and you're still hungry. Sometimes we bring things with us in the car to run out for a diaper change and snack. But more importantly, I think it's important to provide and that means bringing a dish with you, always sharing the wealth because it's much easier that way to socialize and enjoy your time, and enjoy your food. So providing something that you can enjoy but also sharing the wealth that other people can get to experience the healthy foods that you enjoy too. Last but not least, pleasure. So this has two sides to it. Number one, just enjoy and indulge in a guilty pleasure. And again, going back to preparing yourself, Remind yourself afterwards not to have regret or remorse. Or you can upgrade your pleasures with things like banana ice cream or other healthy desserts like some that we mentioned. So hopefully these six Ps will help you to be armed and prepared for the holidays. So another thing about this time of year that always gets to me are the shorter days. If you struggle with seasonal affective disorder, if you struggle with maybe being alone or just not getting enough sunlight or warm weather, trust me, you are not alone. I have felt this for so many years. And my advice to friends, family members, and followers is to make it a priority to get outside daily, no matter how cold it is. I have a buddy who lives up north who I'm like, dude, if you're anxious, if you're depressed, if you're really missing the weather, buy yourself a pair of cool hiking boots, bundle up, and get outside with your dog in the snow every day. Take your hat off, roll up your sleeves, even for a few minutes, and get some sunlight, get some fresh air. These types of things help. So again, 
We are here with you guys. We struggle with all of the same things and as we mentioned before, have been having a very tricky couple of days, but we're gonna make it and we're gonna do it like we always have by eating, moving and resting our best and sharing all of this helpful information with you guys. And I know you guys are interested in these recipes, so definitely go check out our meal planner app. It's coming very soon to the Apple Store, which will be an official app. Get it now and you'll be grandfathered in for when it does launch on the App Store. Otherwise, you can also find these recipes on our blog or here on our YouTube channel. And if you guys need more recipes than we could ever offer, definitely check out the bundle. You guys, we have so many people over the last couple of years that have purchased these bundles and not regretted it. I mean, our DMs are full of people saying, wow, these are seriously worth it. Thanks so much for what you guys do. Definitely go check out the bundle, get it for 50 bucks and get entered to win your choice, Vitamix Blender, Nama Juicer. And thanks again to Peak T. Also check these guys out. You guys, they have amazing products that we felt compelled to share with you because we love them as a company. We love the products and we know you guys will too. Hit that discount code below. We're gonna go make some tea, decorate a tree. What, what rhymes with that? <laughs> Take a pee. Yeah. Teach the kids to pee in a potty. Uh. <laughs> there are three things we all do every day and we could all be doing them better. Eat, move, and rest. We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, Olivia, and Bo, and we're the Stanzix. We aspire to live a plant-centric, faith-forward, healthy lifestyle and welcome all of the adventures that accompany it. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds in between on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within. 